My name is Ron Warhurst, uh, former coach at University of Michigan for 38 years, presently working for the MRSPT, the Running Institute, headed up by Pete Kiddo, our illustrious boss and mentor. Uh, I've coached seven Olympians over the past 38 years, uh, presently working with uh, several upcoming young men, Craig Huffer from Australia, the 336 1500 meter runner who's fourth in New York City in the uh, Fifth Avenue mile of 353. Uh, Nick Willis, who's been with me for 12 years now, uh, going on, going into his third Olympics, actually preparing for his fourth Olympics, but just finished off his third. Uh, this week we're putting on, uh, sponsored by the Running Institute, a mile at Celine High School. Where we're making an attempt to break uh, 355 uh, for the mile which is the fastest uh, mile ever run in the state of Michigan. Uh, Nick Willis will be in the race along with several other of our local people, Dan Clark, Dan Lowry, and uh, Ian Boyle. Other than that, we're looking forward for a fast pace uh, to get through in about 257, 258, and then there's just gonna be a mass scramble in the end to see if we can run the 55 second last quarter. And uh, we're expecting anywhere between a thousand and thirteen hundred people there to witness something that not many people have ever seen a sub four minute mile. Ron, how has your experience as a Marine in Vietnam helped you with coaching uh, in in these years as a coach? Well, uh, I guess it's group therapy is the most important thing that you get out of it. Uh, it's it's the team, the team to team, to use a phrase. Uh, formed by uh, the great Bo Schembechler. Uh, it's the experiences are you just make decisions and you have to stick with it. I think uh, working hard in a group is, is very advantageous to taking on an individual. So the longer that the people work together uh, and it kind of goes in hand in hand with racing, you have to be able to think on your feet when you're in a race. You have a race plan but things change dramatically during the racing time and you have to be able to think on your feet and get yourself back into your own race plan. What's the top three highlights of your career, Ron? Uh, I'd have to say my first my first year coaching the Big Ten Championship at Michigan, kind of a very young and experienced coach. It was my first year of actual organized coaching. I had graduate assistantships at Eastern Michigan and Western Michigan where we won the national championship and I had the privilege of working for a great a uh, great coach, probably my mentor, George Dales, taught me a lot about training. And uh, then coming over to Michigan after my stint in the Marine Corps and getting hired, uh, thanks to Jack Harvey. And we, my first, very first year at Michigan, we, we hosted the Big Ten uh, Cross Country Championships and Wisconsin was a heavy favorite. They didn't know who we were or anything. And I set up a course on Michigan's golf course that was extremely difficult. And it paid dividends uh, in November when we won the Big Ten Championship one of the first three. That's probably the one, the best and the, the best and number one. Second was coaching Greg Meyer, Lisa Weidenbach, and Brian Deemer. Uh, Brian Deemer is the first, my first Olympian. Uh, got a silver, a bronze medal in the Olympics 1984 uh, in the steeplechase. And then Greg was the last American to win the Boston Marathon and Lisa was also the last female to win the Boston Marathon, still stands today. And then I think working with, with fellas like Kevin Sullivan, Nate Brandon, uh, also Deemer, um, John Shear, uh, Mr. Willis, and of course Timmy Bro. Well, those are the list of the Olympians that I've worked with, and I think that's a real treat. And it's and it, once you get close to them and you work with them, you realize you're just regular people, you just have an exceptional amount of natural ability, and then trying to focus, get that, get them to focus in on training, and then get into the racing situation. So there's a you know there's a lot of highlights of my career after 38 years, I would hope there would be, but those are probably uh, the, the major highlights. What's your time prediction and who do you think is going to win the Running Institute Mile? I hope they run 3.54.6 and it better be Nick Willis. Ron, thanks a lot for your time. We appreciate you as a uh, coach, a person, and um, a uh, great father and family man. Thank you very I'd much. I'd like to mention another, the fourth highlight of my career is meeting my wife, and uh, along with that is having a son, 
Luke. What do you do with your schedule? I'm meeting Andrew Kiddo too. <laughs> 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 <laughs>